If you marry me, I'll go out with you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What is up guys, Eddie Hates Anime here, and I'm going to be doing a manga review on Tony Kaku Kawai, or Fly Me to the Moon, I think that's what it's called. The anime for Tony Kaku Kawai is coming out either tomorrow, or depending on when you're watching it, it's probably already out. But since I caught up on the manga a little while ago, about 120 chapters, I decided I'm going to review it here. Minor spoilers for like the first chapter or two, nothing really big, I don't want to be one of those manga readers, you know what I mean. So first off, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of the plot. So at the start of it, there's the main character named Nasa. He he, I think he gets hit by something. So it is in the middle of some blizzard snowy stuff and NASA is in danger, about to die, but someone takes the hit from a truck for him, I think, and it's this girl named Tsukasa. And she saves his life. And even though this man's all bleeding and stuff and is supposed to go to the hospital, he runs after her and he's like, I want you to go out with me. I don't know why. He just, you know, he just took over him. And she says something along the lines of, yes, you can go out with me but only if you marry me. And then he never hears from her again for a, two or three years. When he gets back to his life, he starts working, working hard to get enough money just in case the smallest chance that she might show up again. And whoa, she shows up again. So they end up getting married in some really like, <laughs> they, they get married like legally, but it's not like an actual marriage. And the whole entire thing is still them becoming a real couple, but they're already married. So that's the kind of the funniest part because some of the things they speed into more faster some of the things they're still really weird about. And it's funny also seeing all these reactions of people that they got married because first off, they're like both 18, I think. One of them seven. I think the, the girl's 17, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's really great. The plot, I, I give it a good grade. Next, we're gonna go to the characters. The characters are goaded. First off, we have the wife, her name is Tsukasa. If you read the first chapter, you would already know that she's strong. She's very cute when she's embarrassed. I don't know why, it's just amazing. And she makes a frick ton of references. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> One of the chapters, she woke up and she's like another, another ceiling that I do not recognize. And the narrator just says she wanted to say the Ava lines. She made a One Piece reference. She likes video games and especially retro games. I love retro games. So she's a great character. How could you not love her? Second character is Nasa Yu. Yuzuki, he is the one, the only, he's smart as crap, I will say that. He knows a lot of things that you wouldn't expect some 18 year old dude to know. He ends up becoming like a professor at an all girls high school later on. It's, it's, it's funny, his wife gets jealous, obviously. He's honestly a Chad because he is not afraid of letting his wife know what he wants from her, what he wants to do, which ends up in a lot of funny situations where they end up doing something and it's very embarrassing for whether it be <laughs> being in a bath together or kissing in public. It's just a lot of stuff like that. There's another character. She's a younger girl. Her name is Kaname. And she's known Nasa, like the main character from uh, a while back. And she works at this bathhouse. She is super funny. Even though she's on the younger side, she has no problem making dirty jokes, especially when it comes to Nasa and his wife, making them embarrassed, making funny situations. Oh yeah, another thing about Kaname is she has no problem cleaning the bathhouse when Nasa is in there, which I just find hilarious because she makes a lot of jokes towards him and his uh little partner and that makes him <laughs> very embarrassed there's a few other characters but i'm not gonna get into those today if you guys read the manga or watch the anime since it's already out by the time of watching this you guys will find out that there's a bunch of fun characters in this i don't think i've met a character in this manga so far that i didn't like it's it's very hard to find someone that you won't like the pacing the pacing in the series is really well done. You never really feel like any chapter or mini arc that Slice of Life's have drags on too long. And even though I already touched on this earlier, the comedy is, ooh, it's top tier. It is amazing. I guarantee you, everybody would love it. So yeah. To sum it up, Tony Kakakuai is a romantic comedy manga which involves character and a wife that get married. And it's very funny. I just hit my mic. There's a bunch of great characters, a bunch of great comedy, a bunch of great references. The anime looks like it's going to be good. Yeah, I don't know why you're still watching, to be honest. That is it for my Tony Kaku Kawai review. Oh, wait, no, it's not because I gotta say what I rate it. Low-key, it might be my favorite romance manga that I've ever read. I don't know. Maybe, no, definitely my favorite romance manga right now. I don't know of all time because there's a lot of really good ones. But this one's definitely up there for me. I would definitely recommend it. If you love romance, if you love comedy, if you love them both, if you love good characters, then definitely read it or watch it. I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to try and get the rest of the Weeb Wordo boys to watch it. And speaking of Weeb Wordo, it is a podcast slash group channel that I have with three other YouTubers. Make sure to subscribe to that link in description. We make a lot of stupid videos. I also have a second channel that I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos to soon. It's called Eddie Hates Anime version V2 for version 2. It is in the link in the description or you could search it up 
and I'm going to be putting a lot of the more memeable, I guess, stuff that I wouldn't put on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to that. Also, go check out my Discord. <laughs> Link in description. It's called Shameless Weebs because we're some shameless weebs. We talk about manga, anime, comics. And for some reason, <laughs> yesterday in, my, in the Discord at the time of recording this, they were arguing about communism, capitalism, and socialism. And they wanted me to make it a communist server. Uh, yeah. And the last thing I'm gonna plug is probably my Twitch and my Twitter. My Twitter is easy, it's Eddie Hates Anime. And my Twitch is also Eddie Hates Anime, wow. But I wanna get more followers on my Twitch because I'm gonna start streaming soon. So yeah, that, that'd be pretty cool, you know, pretty cool. I'm also gonna try and fix up my upload schedule three times a week is the goal, starting next week, not this week. I think I think I should have a video out Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because I wanna get up to that 1K mark. I'm trying to get to 1K, even though I'm gonna have to tie my hair at 1K. I wanna get to 1K, so, you know, let's run up those subs. Share the video to your friends if they like anime, if you like anime, if you think they like anime, even if they don't like anime. Just tell them that, they're gonna watch a cat with a cool pink hat. That, that should be enough to draw them in. Honestly, why wouldn't you want to watch a video of a guy with a cool pink hat? That's, that's really all I got. Just remember to just chill and, you know, keep on vibing.